All right, so we're going to look at how to find the coefficient of determination, which we represent with r squared. r squared is between 0 and 1. And one of the uses for this is it tells us if we use the equation of our line to predict um, values, it tells us how good or how bad those predictions will be. So the closer r squared is to 1, the better the predictions will get. The closer it is to 0, unfortunately, the worse the predictions are. I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. So the first is if you have your scatter plot already made, we go to add the trend line by going to the design menu and then over to add a chart element. And then at the bottom of that list, it says trend line. And that sub menu will go down to more trend line options. And that should open a panel on the right hand side. So you want to check and make sure that linear has been checked here because that's what we're using in this class as a linear fit. And then scroll down to the bottom and you'll click display the equation and display the R squared value. So that R squared is your coefficient of determination and that's 0 0.9584. Okay, so that's really close to one, which means if I use this equation to predict um, values, so to predict how many cans of soda are gonna be sold based on the temperature that day, I should get pretty good predictions. Um, as long as I don't wander too far from these dots. So maybe somewhere between 60 degrees and maybe 105 degrees, this will give me good predictions. Outside of that, I probably wouldn't use it. The other way to get our R squared value is to actually find the correlation coefficient, which is R. So we can find that first by doing equals C-O-R-R-E-L. And then we'll highlight one of our sets of data. We'll put a comma and then highlight the other set of data. And hit enter. So our correlation coefficient, which is just R on its own, is about 0 0.978. Now we could take a calculator and multiply that by itself to get R squared, our coefficient of determination, or we can use Excel. So we could type an equal sign. We'll click on the box that has R in it, and then we'll do a star for times, and then click on that box again. So what we've told Excel is equals take that number and multiply it by itself. Okay, so that gives us 0 0.958, which is a match for what we got by putting it on with the equation onto the scatter plot. So that's two ways you can find your coefficient of determination R squared.